Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office show. You can see in front of you my OBS streaming setup and that's because I record certain streams and I have my little microphone here and my headset as you've as you've seen you know other people use it's quite a familiar setup i'm just fiddling here i just broke my microphone yeah there we go all fixed again and um you'll notice in the background i have a sort of transparent background and that's because i have a chroma keying thing so i'm just going to show you i'm going to double click inside my tool here you can see me there hello and then i'm going to basically that's my webcam. So I've got the Logitech webcam C930E. And then if I go to the filters for that property, you'll see chroma key. And I can turn it on and off, custom, the usual things. But if I just sort of, I'll disable it all together for now. Minus. Bang. So there you go. You can see my curtain behind me. And my curtain sort of hides my pile of junk behind that so there's a, another sort of workstation it's like a whole other office behind there but that's fine you're not interested in that but one of the lures of uh the internet world now is you know is to sort of have the same effects as a chroma key but without the green screen because the green screen takes up a huge amount of room in here in fact i'm looking to get rid of it so I tried a application it's called personify i'm just going to turn this back on so you can see the chroma key running again there we go look it's really good it works really well right really uniform that sort of blackness grayness is telling you it's going to work it's going to key against that and then when i go back hooray i'm really quite clear in there so personify though aims to do this without the green screen so go to their website personify.com go to product chroma cam and it's kind of free they do a free version that gives a logo on the bottom you don't have to worry about that. I've already installed it. So when it installs, it installs itself between your webcam and your PC. So it looks like another sort of virtual webcam. And then you can set your OBS, whatever you're using, to use that instead of the actual uh, webcam natively. So if I go to video capture device, double click on that, you'll see I now have Personify Chroma Cam installed. So once I click that, the video goes all very choppy, but you can see there's nothing behind me. So what I've told Personify is I want the background to still be basically a green screen. So OBS is still processing it using this, right? So it's it's selecting that. So I'll just show you what I mean. You can tell Personify to sort of switch in any kind of background you want. So there's all sorts of random stuff. I don't know what this other this first one is. But yeah, so you've seen that you've seen this sort of thing. It's kind of like a little bit like a weird Snapchat thing. And it's doing it in software, so you can see around my head, and as I move my arm, it does get confused, and it does seem to slow down. It seems to use an awful lot of CPU. So I'll just give you an example. Put my task manager on. Here we go. So OBS just sitting there. Well, it is recording, to be fair to it. it oh, that doesn't look too bad at the moment, does it? But then when I switch it off the background to something plain, eh, it's okay. I'll tell you what, the, this is a bad example because I'm recording this via OBS right now. But if you want to try this yourself, what I suggest is do it um, without OBS recording at all, just doing the preview mode. What you'll find anyway, when you've got um, Personify running, it's sort of running up like 40% or 50% of your CPU and you're not even doing anything. So you're like, that's really random, that's really high. And then if you click this little gear icon, you can switch between a sort of performance V quality. And the idea is it's supposed to make the sort of outline around your edge you know, a bit better. So when you put your arms up, it shouldn't sort of chop off as much. But I have noticed something with this. So this would allow me to remove my green screen. So now, what if I actually remove my green screen? So we're making life very easy for the Sonic ah, So... Green screen removed. Okay, let's be fair to personify. We're going to switch back to the standard Logitech camera. Come on, come on, come on. I like it sort of captured me in that sort of slightly gormless look. 
So we're just waiting for Personify to let go. So Personify has let go of the camera, and now it's in the sort of standard Logitech. And I've got zoom controls and stuff on this Logitech, so I can actually just zoom out and you can see what it looks like. So there's my green screen draped there. So this, this a, should be a reasonable challenge. Uh, and what I can do is I'm going to... I'm going to be fair to Personify because here you can see my PC set up, just the edge of the shelf. I'm going to zoom it so it doesn't catch that. So there you go. It's only dealing with me and a bit of background. So then I'm going to turn Personify back on. and Let's see how it's done with this sort of random background behind me. So it's kind of, it's, it's kind of worked, right? It's kind of worked. Um, let's see. Full quality mode. Go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, there's so many caveats, I think, when using this. I don't think you're going to be getting rid of your green screen today because you're, I'm putting extra light on me or something just to see if that helps. Extra light, does it help? Not really. It just makes me look redder. Um, yeah, it, it kind of sucks. I don't think you're going to get really get away from this. I think if you want something that doesn't need a green screen, you're going to need something that uses 3D technology similar to the sort of Xbox Connect. There's some cameras with some Xbox depth per perception on there because I think what Personify is doing, it's actually just trying to work in the same way as the autofocus on a camera. So wherever it sees blurriness, it thinks the blurriness is probably background and then it's going to try to pull that out. That might work on certain depth of field with sort of certain types of cameras, but it's certainly not working with mine and I think mine's pretty good I think it's a pretty good camera in terms of what you can get I think the C930 you know look, it's got auto zoom auto focus it's pretty much there I'm just going to see now one last sort of test to see if it's sort of zoomed right on me and I've just zoomed right in that's why it's slightly blurry because it's um, filling the frame come on personify one last go just a talking head yeah, it's just shockingly bad. Shockingly bad. Now, you can see at the bottom it has a Personify logo there. If you don't want the Personify logo, you actually have to pay for it. So the free lifetime deal is that you can have Personify and you have to have the logo on the bottom, which you can probably crop out, to be honest, in OBS if you really don't want it. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure how much you've got to pay because, frankly, you ain't going to pay it. You ain't going to buy it. It's not. It's just not good enough. So I'll probably be uninstalling that and going back to my traditional green screen. So let's flop that down. Oh, here we go. And like magic. Look at that. I mean, it works crazy well in OBS, isn't it? Considering that I'm not illuminating the screen properly and I'm not even, you know, colorizing it. It's got loads of creases and folds. It works really well. So go on eBay, buy your cheap green screen. That's going to be a lot cheaper than your probably chroma cam rubbish. So I hope this was some use for you. As ever, thank you for watching.